Today we're here with Jake Ryan Flynn. Woo! He was in Charlie the Chocolate Factory and Mrs. Doubtfire. So let's get on to the video. Here we go. How did you get into theater? Uh, I, um, uh, well, my mom got me into theater because I didn't like any sports. And um, so I started at a regional, uh, not a regional, um, uh, a community theater called um, uh, Neverland Theater. And it was like 10 minutes away from my house. And I started there. And then I started doing regional shows at North Shore Music Theater, which is like five minutes away from my house. And I did a lot of shows there. And then um, from that, um, I got, uh, one of the castmates i did trek there and there's this thing it's like we sing at like a restaurant and he like filmed me and sent it to his agent and then uh and then his agent contacted me and then i was like and so then she me to her contract and then i got the audition for Charlie and the chocolate factory and that's how i got into new york theater oh wow, oh, wow. that's a crazy story <laughs> um what is your favorite show mishap <sighs> uh, i've had a lot of mishaps um <laughs> Uh, for Charlie, there was that, that one time it was, uh, I was, it was at the curtain call, which is so sad. And I was coming out from my bow and, and there's this part where like, I, I walk out and I bow and then I'm supposed to like take my cane tap and there's confetti mm -hmm. and it's like a, really cool. And so I, I came out and I tripped and fell. <laughs> I tripped on like a, a track on the stage and fell and I was like, ah, and I, was, I went like this and the confetti had already gone off and it was, it was super <laughs> depressing, but <laughs> That, that, that and then for Doubtfire, I would say when oh there <laughs> there's this one time when um there's these two set pieces it's like it's Daniel's apartment in the show and they come in like this from wing two 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 wings on each other they come in and they connect and in the show there's like there's a scene where all of these all of the actors come out from behind the house so but they have to be there for like the talking scene before because mm -hmm. there's no time for them to get in without them being noticed so there's like 20 of us behind these little sets coming along with it on the track and then one time it stopped in the middle and all of us were like what? and then um rob mcclure he went out for his quick change you know for miss stelfer so we were like um so i went in to open the door for the scene and then started moving so i like got flung off the set piece and it went back in i came out and i was like <laughs> good uh so that one yeah that was really funny that was in seattle what is your favorite stage door memory stage door memory um, hmm. uh, I think my favorite uh, stage door memory is probably like the first um, preview for Charlie the Chocolate Factory when um, my, my first preview because we split the part but it was my first performance with a real audience um, and just uh, going out there and signing the autographs and everyone was like applauding when I came out that was that was really exciting what movie what, okay this is a two-part question um, what movie would you want to turn to a musical and what musical would you want to turn to a movie Movie I'd want to turn into a musical is um, Pete's Dragon, not the new one, mm -hmm. but the the original one that's on Disney Plus. I think the music's awesome, and that needs to be a musical. And a movie that I want to be a musical. Yeah. No, I mean no, a musical. I want to be a movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, probably. Oh, I didn't think. Um, this is one of the hard ones, though. Oh, you, well, um, I'm thinking um, Hades Town because I love that show. Yeah, yeah that's um, a good one. I think because I love the music. I think that'd be kind of cool as a movie because, mm -hmm. you know, it could be, like, really cool yeah. when you go down to hell. A lot of people I say that. I don't know. It'd yeah. be a cool movie. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite thing to do backstage? favorite thing to do backstage? Um... During Charlie, I would play a lot of Legos. Like, the whole room was covered with Legos, which I loved. I liked the Legos. And, um... I'd also actually there's uh, there's this green room and um, during Charlie all the swings who were like covering just in case someone got hurt would be up there mm -hmm. and they had Nintendo Switch hooked up to the TV and they had all those games so when I was on standby and not on that day mm -hmm. I would just hang up there oh, <laughs> playing Mario Kart. Fun. Yeah. Um, so. What was your favorite part about doing Mrs. Doubt Doubtfire? My favorite part. Um, I think it was um, I, the audience reactions to the show was um, really awesome in Seattle. Um, I think that that was one of my favorite parts. And I also really enjoyed um, the cast. The cast is the best. <laughs> so it was really fun working with all those people. And um, 
I mean, just seeing Mrs. Doubtfire actually right, come to right. life, that, that was awesome. Like, the costume, remember when I first saw it? We were doing a photo shoot for press, and I was just like, it was crazy. <laughs> um, what was your favorite part about doing Charlie in the Chocolate Factory? Favorite part about Charlie in the Chocolate Factory? Um, what was my... Uh, what, it, oh, it, well, one thing that happened that actually... With the show, my first show, which was awesome, which, which was amazing, but there was one thing that happened that was actually not a part of the show, but... Um, Krishna Boro, who played Willy Wonka, um, uh, he loved Legos, I love Legos, and he loved stars, and I love Star Wars. And there's this Lego, I don't know if you've seen it, but the Lego Death Star. Yes, um, yes. It's, uh, it's epic, right? Yes. And so I, I wanted it for like six years, and I, I kept asking, him, and my mom and dad were like, no, you need to know how to build it, you're not getting it for your birthday. <laughs> and so I was like talking about it with him, and then I kept bringing it up, and I would go visit it at the Lego store. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. then one day he came in, and it was just sitting on my desk, and he had got it for me. Wow. And I cried. I <laughs> yeah, mean, yeah. It was kind of the most amazing thing ever. Um, but that was the biggest moment for me, because I wanted that set. Uh forever it, uh, but opening night was good but the lego set <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of like our parents our parents won't look at legos because they say that we're yeah. not going to complete it that we're going to ruin it they're going to be all over the house yes. we're gonna step yeah that, we're gonna step that, on that when i was really young they were like no you you can't even build that small thing when you're not getting that yeah you know? same like, thing with us yeah yes um so now we can play a game so we have two games the first one is called put a finger down and so we'll give you a little prompt and if it happened to you before you'll put a finger down okay and the second game game is Guess the Musical, and we give you, like, lyrics, and we, we can give you clues if you don't get it the first time. Okay. So I, I'm pretty good. I know my, I mean, I, 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 the lights are Broadway show cards, so I, <laughs> I love Broadway. So, okay. Put a finger down if you rejected plans because of rehearsal. Rejected plans because of rehearsal? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Put a finger down if you cried at closing night. Oh, I don't. Th- oh, yes, I think I did, yeah. <laughs> Put a finger down if you've been noticed on the street. <gasps> Put a finger down if you interact with that theater girl or boy. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Put-, <laughs> Put a finger down if a famous person ever came to your show. Put a finger down if you ever burped or farted on stage. <laughs> I think about it. Probably burped. Put a finger down if you ever fallen on stage. Oh, definitely. Put a finger down if your voice cracked on stage. Oh, I didn't sing one note one time, so. Put a finger down if you ever got gifts from fans. Oh, we get fan art sometimes, yeah. Put a finger down if you played multiple roles in the show. That's what? never happened. You have you didn't get all ten, ten fingers down. Yeah. Like you're like the maybe the second person that hasn't gone yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah, I got almost all ten. I had nine. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's pretty good. So what was the interaction with that theater girl or boy? Oh god, that was weird. I, I don't know if it's like that theater girl, but I've had some like some um, <laughs> crazy <laughs> crazy fans of the show. Like there was this one person that um I think I saw her at the stage like four or five times. <laughs> and there was this one kind of, and she came up, she was like, you are so cute. And she just grabbed my face. And I was like, uh, mm And I just started backing up. And there's a security guard that, like, sort of watched the crowd. She came up, she was like, hands off. And I was like, thank you. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Really comfortable. Um, but, uh, and then, like, I was walking. I was like, wait, I think she's been here, like, five times. And then there was this one time where, so, like, we're going home to our house in New York. And this guy stops us. This was really weird. This guy stops and turns. He's like, oh, I saw you in the show. He's like, you know, I got to admit, I followed you for a few blocks just to make oh. sure it was you. And I was like, oh, and then no. he asked to sign. He asked for an autograph. We were like, okay. He was like, if I don't have paper, you can just sign my arm. And we were like, no. Wow. Okay. He found paper, but that was weird. That's strange. That's strange. But you know what? Once we went stage during and my mom was like, they just walk off like that? And I was like, yeah. Like, I know. Yeah, they just it's walk like off. Once once you leave the line, it's like, right. I mean, technically, there's no one protecting you. You yeah. protecting you, yeah. That's crazy. I know. So. It's like crazy and like unsafe in a way. Oh, like that, that last story. Yeah, it was, it was weird. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe the girl thought she should like reach her hand. <laughs> and grab and grab yeah. your face like, oh my God. It's so I was weird. like, You're only like, my I Nana can do that. Right. right. You're probably like, I gotta wash my face after this. <laughs> I was like, uh, uh, no. Uh, no, no. <laughs> it was weird. Okay, so 
Can you tell us about the when you burped on stage? Oh, um, oh, <laughs> it's kind of like a sneeze. Actually, there'll be a lot of times where, like, <laughs> actually, there's this one time where I was on stage during Charlie, and I think it was like after my line, then I sneezed. And Christian, who played Willy Wonka, just said, bless you. Because <laughs> I was just like, I said my line, I was like, hatch. He was like, bless you. Bless and then you. continued on with the scene. It happens all the time. Mm. I sneeze all the time and I try to choke it down. Right. And it's like really awkward. I'm like, <laughs> and then I get a hiccup. And then and then it's just, oh, uh, it's like it's better mess. off sneezing yeah. than trying not to. I, I know this girl that used to like sneeze constantly. Like she could never, she, I don't know. I don't know what was wrong, but she would sneeze constantly. <laughs> and it'd be like, in like the most awkward times. Like I remember one time teacher was like, everyone be quiet. Hachoo, hachoo. And she would just keep going on and on. And she would never stop. The worst is like when like, it's like a rehearsal when there's like a sad song going on and there's like that break where it's like silence and you're just like, Hah! and you're like, and everyone just looks at you and you're just, and everyone just looks at you and they're like, Come on. Out. Right. Yeah. Right. right. <laughs> uh, but now we can play Guess the Musical. Okay. So the first one is Loathing. Oh, um, um uh, Wicked. Yes. yes. Um, The End is Coming. Oh. The End is Coming. I don't know. I'll give you a clue. Um, Simple Spun. Just give it away. Oh, um... That's Spongebob. Yes. yes. Stupid with love. Mean Girls. Yes. Okay, this might be a little hard. The whole bunch of Davids fight Goliath. The whole bunch of Davids fight Goliath. Is... Oh, I feel like I know this, too. It's... No, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna give you a clue. Um, Seize the day. This is gonna give it away. I think this is also gonna be Oh, it's, um... Is, is it, um, Newsies? Yes. yes. Four Jews in a row. Um, what'd you say? Oh, oh, falsettos. Yes. Cape cow hair slipper. Oh, um, into the woods. Chip on my shoulder. Illegally blind. Yes. Let it go. <laughs> Why am I so good You're at this? You're doing really I'm good. Are you nerd about this? Yeah, you got past, like, the really hard ones. A lot yeah. of people are like, we're here for hours. Like, oh, so you did really good. Um, let it go. Uh, frozen. My shot. Hamilton. Turn it off. Turn it off. Oh, I'm going to need a clue. I don't know. Hello, my name is Elder John. <laughs> Book of Mormon. Yes. yes. Arabian Nights. Aladdin. Yes. Yeah. That was really good. You did really good. That was really I know. Good. <laughs> Some people. Such a nerd about Broadway. Like, and then, like, I'll listen to the radio, and, and they'll be like, I'll be like, who's this? And they'll be like, you haven't heard that song? I'm like, sorry, after Broadway, I don't know. <laughs> Some people, like, don't get them at all. No. And it's so strange. Like, it, it could be, like, the biggest stars, yeah. and they don't know anything. At all. So you did really good. Yes. Yeah. It's like really my good. friend. I'll be like, Patty Lapone should be like, who? I'm like. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <sighs> but now we're going to move on to Quick Round. So these are rapid fire questions. Same quickly. Favorite okay. Halloween costume? Oh, um, I once dressed up as Lola from Kinky Boots, which was awesome. And then I also dressed up as a scary nun from The Nun. Harry Potter house. Oh, I think it's uh, Hufflepuff. Favorite holiday? Halloween. Favorite song? Oh, my favorite song. Uh... I don't know, but I love something rotten, so anything from something rotten or kinky boots. Oh, yeah. Um, favorite actor? My favorite actor, uh, Hugh Jackman. That's good. Favorite musical? Favorite... Oh, it's a tie between Sunset Boulevard, um, Kinky Boots, uh, Hades Town, and. Yeah, that's a tie. Those three. <laughs> favorite food? Oh, I love my dad um, for uh, corned beef and cabbage. Um, oh my god! Our mom's corned beef. Yes, ours I is love that. that. Yes, yes. It's, it's great. So we yeah. ate it like what, like a couple of times right after St. Patrick's Day because we yes. were in love with oh, it. Yes, it's so it's good. So good. It's such a good yes. Yeah. Um, favorite color? All green. Favorite beverage? Uh, my favorite beverage. Oh, I love a good Arnold Palmer. Uh, favorite place to eat in New York? This is really hard. But it's probably going to it's gonna be Joe Allen's. I love their brick chicken, like their mm -hmm. oven chicken. Oh, 
it's like I miss that. I haven't had that in like a year and a half, and I'm, I need it. <laughs> biggest pet peeve? Oh, my biggest pet peeve? Um, I don't honestly, I don't think I really have a pet peeve. Just don't be annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> just, just don't be annoying. Yeah. And there's not anything that someone does, and mm-hmm. I'm just like... Like, no. Yeah, I get that. No, yeah. <laughs> Um, favorite sitcom? Sitcom? Oh, uh, I love Saturday Night Live, but I also really love, I don't does this count as a, a sitcom, Shit's Creek? Oh, right? I think, I think, sitcom, I think right? it is, On yeah. Netflix. I've watched it. I love it. that show. It's so good. It is my, so it, good. it's like in my top, like, yes. with Stranger Things, it's up there. Favorite costume? Favorite costume that I've worn? Yeah, like in a show. Um, uh... uh uh, I would say probably at the end of the show, I, I am, I'm in a Willy Wonka costume. So that, that costume from Charlie. Favorite animal? Oh, favorite animal. Um, you know, this is weird, but I've always loved pigs. Yes. Like, oh always. God. Okay. Like, send Charlotte's Web. Mm. I love pigs. I re- I wanted a little, like, a little, like, a mini pig when I was, like, little for, like, the longest. And I would tell my mom, like, I, I want a little pig to dress up and take pictures with. It's so cute. Right. Yes. And when you go to, like, the zoo and they're like, no one wants to see the pigs. I'm like, I do. Do, you, right? <laughs> Favorite ice cream flavor? Um, the cookie dough. Favorite sport? <laughs> oh, no. I guess, I mean, football. I, don't, I, I mean, I don't really watch sports right. or anything, but football is. Favorite vacation spot? Favorite vacation spot? Probably Florida because I'm obsessed with theme parks. So, and there's a bunch there. Favorite movie? Um, oh man. I don't know. I really love, um, I don't know. Favorite, I just love, I mean, I love anything with like Melissa McCarthy or, um, Anyone from Saturday Night Live, any comedian from Saturday Night mm-hmm. Live who's been on it and they're in a movie, it's for me. I don't really have a favorite. You know, um, Melissa McCarthy. Oh, Star Wars. Star Wars. Mm, yes. That um, and Star Wars. Melissa McCarthy had a new movie out on Netflix. Isn't it with like? Is, yeah. Spencer, it's like, it's yes. the Force one. I just watched it last okay, night. Okay. Okay. Really? It yeah. was good. It's so good. It was yes. really weird and it was very stupid, but it was really funny. It really it's was. It's on my like list to watch. I already watched. It. I already I watched it when it like first came out. I was like, Melissa McCarthy, love that her, love them. I was like, Octavia okay. Spencer, it's good. Right. Yes. I, it's but it's like if they weren't in it, it's I wouldn't watch I know, it. But no. they're in it and it's great. It's great. Yeah. Uh, favorite dance style. Favorite dance style, tap. Favorite pop star. Favorite pop star. I've always loved Lady Gaga. Favorite dance number in a show. Dance number in a show. Oh, in uh, Mrs. Doubtfire uh, is Easy Peasy. I love that song, but I also love the opening number in Something Rotten. It's my favorite opening number. Favorite book. Favorite book. Oh, I've always loved the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. Favorite theater. Since it first came out. Favorite theater. What'd you say? Favorite theater sing. Sorry, what? Favorite theater saying? Oh, theater saying. Um, okay, I guess break a leg. Right. Yeah. What's a classic? Yeah. yeah. That's it. We're done. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for every update. And make sure to tune in on Friday for our interview with Benton Whitley. Woo! Anyways, we'll see you next time. Bye.